In my previous video, I have shown you how to capture all the rejected records or a bad record due to uh, DB constraint issues or any functional requirement issues. Uh, we have captured those records into a separate reject table. In this uh, video, I will show you how to design and implement reprocessing logic in your talent job. Right? We have all the rejected records uh, captured in a separate table and we will have to reprocess them. Right, so I'll show you um, how do we uh, do this in talent. So let's get started. As you may know, most of the you know bad records will be corrected from the source side itself. Right, the source application will reprocess uh, or correct the bad data on their side, and the corrected records would uh, you know come to ETL as a CDC or uh, you know incremental load logic. Right, so this is one way of um, you know reprocessing and um, however uh, there are a couple of other scenarios in which uh, the source may not be able to you know update uh, those records that scenario may be valid on the source side but uh, for etl or data warehouse side um, we may have to apply hotfix on our side right so in those cases uh, we will be applying all the corrections on uh, the etl side itself and reprocess the rejected records in another scenario, you may have some known issues and approved uh, solutions for it, right? So those um, scenarios also will be handled uh, in this reprocessing logic. So let's go ahead and uh, check how this can be done in talent. And so on the talent side, I'm reusing the same job uh, that we have uh, used for my previous video. And if you have not checked that video, uh, you may want to go ahead and check. Um, so I have explained how do we capture the bad records, um, uh, basically from a DB constraint perspective and also from functional requirement uh, in a perspective. All right, so let's see how this can be, um, you know, reprocessed. Right on the database side, uh, we were using a stage customer as our uh, source uh, table dim customer as our target table and dim customer underscore rej as our rejected table so in order to uh, make this you know reprocess logic work uh, what i'm doing here is i'm adding another column called reprocess flag and i am putting the you know default value as n so that um, initially when a bad record is entered into this table uh, it should not be flagged for reprocessing and whenever you correct the data uh, you would update the reprocess uh, flag as you know y and then uh, you run your talent job and everything will be settled right so this is the table uh, level change uh, definition level change on the reject table okay and uh, and if you remember uh, we had few bad data already on the reject table um, in the first scenario uh, the customer location was null so we got this um, cannot insert null uh, value into particular table and in the second scenario we had a customer name exceeding the column length and in the third scenario we have uh, the customer location um, location code less than three characters right so this was the custom and you know, a functional requirement we had so in order to address that um, i'm going to update the customer location as unknown Right. Uh, let's say this is the approved, you know, logic from uh, you know the business team, or this could be one of the um, you know hotfix. Okay. And in the other scenario, what I'm doing is the customer location was BL, and let's say this is one of the known issue. Uh, wherever we get you know BL, uh, the approved solution may be uh, to go ahead and use BLR. Okay. So I'm uh, running these to update statements. On the rejected table okay and once this is done uh, we will have to commit it because this is Oracle uh, so we will have to go ahead and do the commit on the data okay now the reject table has the updated uh, customer location and the updated customer um, you know uh, location code Okay, and similarly, you can even update this particular, you know, uh, record to process only 20 characters, right? I'll leave it up to you. I'll just go ahead and show these two uh, updates. Okay, so these are the changes on uh, database. Going back to talent, uh, all we have to do is uh, we will have to have another DB input component. Okay, DB input component reading from dim customer reject table where the reprocess logic is Y. 
right wherever we have the reprocess flag is set to y that means the record the bad record is already corrected and you have seen this you know we have updated reprocess flag as y and if you notice this is the last column so when you uh, want to reprocess you will have to pick only uh, the records with reprocess flag equals to y okay so that's the reason i have taken this so now we have this uh, main flow and also a rejected flow so for this i'll be um, you know making use of unite t unite component to get a record from my rejected table and uh, i will redirect all the input from the main table to this t unite right so this is the uh, one time solution we will have to use uh, this t unite and from t unite you can directly connect to the t map right so what we are doing uh, let's say there are no records for uh, reprocessing um, this particular input will not have any records so the daily um, incremental load will run uh, and process everything as is and whenever there is a corrected record in the same flow those corrected records will also be processed right so this is all um, you know logic inside uh, the ctl it's very simple uh, you may want to give it a try and before i run this particular job let me go ahead and check my stage customer table okay so right now i don't have any uh, records in the stage uh, customer um, let me go ahead and run this particular job okay as you can see the main uh, source table has no records but there are two records uh, marked as you know reprocess right uh, so we have captured uh, those two records we did the lookup we did not find any and uh, it has gone to dim customer however um, this is again failed with the reason as cannot insert null into this particular column so this could be due to uh, this t unite since we introduce a new component here we will have to um, remap uh, all the uh, you know columns here see it's not connected so that's why it's complaining that uh, customer id is not mapped and it's going null uh, for a key column so let me go ahead and correct it this is eight this is also eight Okay, so if you are building this job brand new, you don't have to worry. Everything will be set. Correct. And there are a couple of uh, condition here as well. So let me go ahead and correct it. Okay, so this is now corrected. Let me go ahead and run it. okay so now you see uh, two records were processed successfully and there are no um, no records written to reject uh, you know table so that means uh, those two records are committed on the dim customer so let's go ahead and quickly check it okay so now you see uh, the bad records are corrected and those are reprocessed into the main target 